Web is truly a civilization scale mission. It not only changes what we know, but how we think about ourselves. We'll pick up uh, where the Hubble Space Telescope and Spitzer Space Telescopes left off in their capabilities. And it lets us see out through 13 billion years of cosmic time to look at the first generation of galaxies that formed after the Big Bang. We'll also look at these worlds out there, exoplanets, that may or may not harbor life. When the Webb Telescope gets to space, it will be operating in very harsh conditions, in a vacuum um, and very cold. So we have to test that on Earth. At the Johnson Space Center, their Chamber A was used to do the thermal vacuum test. Chamber A was built for the Apollo mission. Um, so they tested the Apollo uh, spacecraft in it. And for the Webb Telescope, we have totally taken that chamber and repurposed it. It's a multi-story thermos bottle in which we can pump all the air out and then chill it very cold. This critical test has been planned for a long time. It was a very long test, and we passed with flying colors. Webb is a partnership between NASA, the European Space Agency, and the Canadian Space Agency. Science is international because we bring the best to the table that everybody can offer. And it really takes a planet to make a telescope like Webb. It's pushing the limits of technology and it's going to push forward the limits of science. It's an incredibly powerful tool to take the next step in space exploration. You know, I really feel fortunate to be living right now and be at NASA right now. Because for the first time in history, we can address the question, are we alone in the universe, scientifically, with Webb as a major tool.